Yo, what's up? What you got going there? Comedy rock. Well, give me a little, uh, little sample of what we'll be hearing. Alright. Good. I was walking down the street. I didn't know who to meet. I didn't take a bath that day. I didn't brush my teeth yesterday. I saw a girl in the corner. Long blonde hair. Tight black pants. Black high heels. How are you doing, girl? What are you doing here? I got my own place. I hope you don't have kids. Come over here. I got beers. I got chicken. I want to get licking. <laughs> Is that cool? <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> A lot of them. Now I got like five of them memorized. I could do. Who wrote all these songs? I wrote them. Just made them up. Just said, just you know, added some lyrics on it. How long does it take you to uh, write these songs? Probably about an hour, maybe a half hour. Each song? Yeah, about a half hour. Now you write the lyrics and the music. Yeah, at the same time, I just like sit down with like a notebook and I just go like, just make something up like. Now, where do you think uh, you get the inspiration for these songs from? I don't know. So is this now your dream? This is what you want to do? Yeah. The Kenneth Keith Callenbag Band. Do you have any uh, musical idols? Not really. I kind of like, um, like Pink Floyd, Black Sabbath, Judas Priest, um, like Iron Maiden, Ozzy Osbourne, uh, Dio, um, and a lot of classic rock stuff, older stuff. There's some slow stuff there. Frank Zab is pretty cool. So you would say that they're your musical influences. You try to copy like this, not copy their style, but you borrow from like what they've done. Well, that's just what I listen to. I don't really like steal from them. Hey, let me do this real quick. Uh, Kenneth Keith stopped by. I'm giving him five minutes, and then I'm throwing him out of here. What does he want? He's got some kind of new uh, singing career. He's playing at a club tonight. Kenneth Keith Callenbach, the guy who's like sort of retarded. So who does our show every once in a while. Who I, who I have said is really Beavis and Butthead, the real-life Beavis and Butthead. And he was Beavis and Butthead before Beavis and Butthead were Beavis and Butthead. It's a shame he couldn't figure out how to make himself a cartoon. Yeah. But he's trying to latch on to this success, this fame that I've given him. Hey, hey, man. Hey, your hair grew back in. Because one time he was on our show, he cut off all his hair and shoved it in his mouth and ate it. Yeah. Uh, and then you blew smoke through your eyes a couple of times, or you tried to. And then you, now, now your thing is you light firecrackers in your crotch. Is that your thing, pretty much? Yeah, whatever you know. People want me want to see. And then I was telling people the other day on the air. Did you hear? Oh, you got a new press photo. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you look great. Yeah, I got wait, wait. I got another one. Let's see. Yeah, I got another another picture. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Hey, wait. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Take Here your time. Hey, you look good there. Let me see. <laughs> See, I got uh, the cool. You still, two of them. You still with that girl? No. Yeah, we're uh, <laughs> sort of like dating now. What do you mean dating? You were living together. We're dating. <laughs> you're dating each other, or you're dating other people? Well, last night she said she wanted to date other people. Oh, so. uh, really? Yeah, she, she finally was... figured out who she was with. <laughs> well, no, it wasn't that. I just, I, w I didn't know if I was ready to um, get married. Get married or whatever. What do you think? I, I don't think you're ever going to do any better than her. <laughs> You want to be honest about it? I'm, yeah, I'm being serious. Yeah, but should he really, really? be married is what he's so. saying. I don't think you should get married. You're not a real responsible guy. No offense, but you're not like a typical guy who's well thought out. And Well, yeah, I am, but, well, I don't know. Who knows? I mean, this is a guy who, like, we were doing the <laughs> Channel 9 show, and Kenneth Keith was really getting popular. Like, a lot of the guys were getting paid appearances and stuff, but, like, frat houses in Washington would call up Kenneth Keith. And they'd say, uh, hey, dude, why don't you come down to our party? And he'd go, well, what are you going to give me? And they said, well, we have a whole case of beer. And he'd, he'd drive all the way down there. And guys would just beat you up and stuff, right, at the parties? They'd yeah. Get, like, for was, fun? It was fun. You like getting beat up. <laughs> nah, nah, they didn't beat me up. They, they didn't just, beat you up? They just played around. They were just college jerks, you know. 
Right, jerks. They were jerks. <laughs> I don't, like people saw and like these college jerks would go, "Hey, let's invite Kenneth Keith to our party, and we'll have someone from the Howard Stern show." And Kenneth Keith would go down there because he really has nothing going on in his life. And then they would just <laughs> make him do things, or yeah. they would try to do things to him. Wouldn't they make you get naked and stuff and light firecrackers? Yeah, I was getting naked and lighting firecrackers in my crotch. Yeah, <laughs> I saw I, some guy sent me a tape where you, he had he had a party. And they didn't have any firecrackers, but they had Roman candles. Oh, yeah. And you lit a Roman candle off your crotch? Yeah. They and were, then they would sit around um, and just goof on him and tell him to vomit out a window, and, and he would do it. Or make him drink a lot. Yeah. And you wouldn't get laid or anything. They were just there to yeah. goof on you. And these guys were losers, too, but he was worse of a loser. But they would sit Kenneth over in a corner. It was like they would take pot passes and poke at him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they would poke stuff at you and everything. Yeah, I would get drunk and pass out in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> so what's this you doing with music now? Comedy rock. I invented comedy rock. No, <laughs> he's an inventor. <laughs> comedy rock. Comedy rock. I invented comedy rock. <laughs> what are you doing? You, you, you're playing some songs. Is it good songs or is it like something goofy like Charles Manson or something? It's good songs. Good comedy rock. Good comedy rock. Let me hear something quickly. Yeah, Where are you playing? Uh, nowhere. Oh, I thought you had a gig. Well, yeah, but... In, uh, Huh. Yeah, I'm doing a uh, cable access show, that's all. Oh. Yeah. It's that's what you're here to plug, or you're here to get gigs? I'm just here. I'm not here for no reason. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he went to some club, and he finally got this girlfriend who's pretty cute, and now he's blowing it with her. I guess she doesn't want him anymore. Well, no, it's not that. She's still living with you? No, she's moved out. She's, like, living with her friend now. <laughs> 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 Do you see her at all? Yeah, she, um, I was with her the whole week. She stayed over at my house. Do you still get to have sex with her and stuff? Well, you know, here and there. Oh, oh man. boy, you really blew it, Kenneth. <laughs> Loser. Because nah, no all he ever got was, like, fat chicks and stuff. And really, <laughs> and not that often. And not even, you couldn't even get fat girls, right? Well, you know, uh, whatever. <laughs> this and that. No, be honest. Before her, you weren't I getting anything. Honest, Before her, you weren't getting any girls. Well, How often would you get it? Like once or twice a year, maybe, if you were lucky? Yeah, not that much. Hardly <laughs> ever. Right. And so all of a sudden you get her, a good-looking girl with like a thin body, <laughs> yeah. and you blow it? Like, do you, Are you still in love with her, or are you... Uh, like, what happened? I don't get it. I don't know. I, just, I was Did confused. She, I well, know. you know, wait a minute. Let me put some light on this subject, because what happened was, you know, Kenneth was a pretty happening dude when she met him. How was he, he happy? Was out. He, I don't know what was going on, but there was a lot of stuff going on, and they were going out every night. Yeah. And then he was flying back and forth. And then she got to see, you know, she moved in with Kenneth, and all he wanted to do was stay home, and he didn't want to leave the house, and he'd drive her someplace, and she'd have to get out of the car and go do the shopping because <laughs> he wouldn't leave the car. Because he's famous. Yeah. No, nah, what I, I She got fed up with you, man. She realized you're a retard. No, nah, it's not like that at all. Yeah. He was high profile when yeah. they hooked up. Yeah, when yeah. they hooked up for some reason there was a, a There was a, something a, going on. Was there were some things happened. going on and like Captain Jenks was hanging around. There was all kinds of right, parties. Larry Melrose Green was here and all, yeah. all kinds of things. Heat. And then she then finally he went back to his regular life where he's a postal worker and all of and a sudden then, she's living in a trailer in the woods of Pennsylvania. And he won't leave it. You know, and he's going to the bathroom and not closing the door and he's becoming a human being. Yeah. But he's even worse than a human being. Right. He's becoming a bad human being. <laughs> I don't know. I was just confused. I don't know if I want to, you know. So she said to you, I want to get married, and you said no? I said, well, let's just wait a little while. I'm confused. What are you so confused about? Why are you confused? You have nothing going on in your life. Why would there be confusion? Like, you think something better is going to come along? I don't I don't know what's going on. I'm just confused. <laughs> Yeah. Look, I think it's a good thing she, for her, she, he got confused because yeah. he doesn't need to be married and having children. We should call her. You got her number? Yeah, yeah let's call her right now. Give me the phone. Hey, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude, give me the phone. <laughs> you think he's yeah. stupider than Ganji? Didn't he go out last week and somebody asked him to leave a club and they took him down the street and beat him up? Yeah. No, just some jerk just, like, punched me for no reason. He didn't even know me. But Some jerk beat you up? Nah, it just punched me. Like, he, asked, he said, come on, you want to go to another club? And I was like, all right. Just some people that I met, you know. Yeah, and he punched you? Yeah. You mean, wait, wait. He wait, says wait, that wait. like it happens all the time. Where is it? You were at a club, and some yeah. guy said to you, your teeth are funnier looking than ever, man. They're like really? falling out of your head. Oh, man. I know, look. When's the last time you went to a dentist? Oh. 
I don't go to the dentist, man. <laughs> yeah, That's no. a bad scene. <laughs> <laughs> I just I brush my teeth all the time. I Do you? I don't think you're working your gums properly. Let me see. Go like this. Mm. Oh, man. Well, see, I got a motorcycle accident, so that's why my face is messed up right there. Oh, that's the reason? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, but what about your teeth? Did your teeth get messed up in the accident? No, nah, that's just sure. happened naturally. They're perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's like his two front teeth are mad at each other, and they're like... <laughs> yeah, staying away like from this, each other. Like this. Yeah, they're like trying to get as far apart from each other as possible. <laughs> wow, that's messed up, man. <laughs> <laughs> So, so what, anyway, so why are you confused about the girlfriend, man? You're never gonna get a better. What have you gotten a girl since her? Mm, what do you mean? No. Have you had any sex with other girls since her? No, we've still been going out. So you're still waiting for her to come back? Uh, no, we've been um like seeing each other like on weekends and stuff like that. And she's seeing other people, and you're supposed to be out seeing other people. Well, not until last night, she said, Let, why don't we see other people? Oh, then, this is a recent occurrence. <laughs> and when she and said she that, somebody else already. yeah, right. And when she said that, what did that mean to you? It meant... It's over. No, she just, well, uh, I guess, I don't know. I'm confused. What's all that red marks all over your neck and chest? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Look at him, man. He's got like a rash running all down his neck. Is he nervous? I don't know. Are you nervous? Hives? You got you got a whole rash running down your neck. Well, I, I don't know. I just slammed two cups of coffee. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, man. You ought to cool out on that coffee. <laughs> but we were talking about this. You walked out of a club with a guy you didn't know. Yeah, this guy and these two other guys said, Hey, Kenneth Keith, what's up, man? And they were all shaking my hand saying, Hey, how's it going? And they were like, Come on, though. They recognize you from our show? Yeah. Yeah. And they were like, Come on, let's. you want to go to another club? And they were being all nice. And I was like, All right. And then... um. You know. What, the guy punched you in the face? Yeah, when we got down to the corner or whatever. He, he just, just turned around and punched you. <laughs> yeah, for no reason. <laughs> and were you all confused? <laughs> <laughs> no, I started running. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Did it hit you hard? Yeah. Oh, that's not funny. Yeah, it was real hard. Aww. Why is that funny? <laughs> 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 Took him outside and punched him. <laughs> Were you in shock? Yeah, I was. I, I didn't see it coming. It was like, you know. And was he a big guy? Yeah, real big. Yeah. Oh, that's man. Sad. Why would you want to hit little Kenneth Key? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know man. I, a, you wouldn't do that to a dog. It sounds like there's nothing sure. else to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He punched him in the face. Aww. And did he hit you hard? Yeah. Yeah. Look right there. Oh yeah, I see. That's maybe that's where you got a mark. It was like two weeks ago. Look at his neck, Jackie. His whole neck is well, red. I think, it's, I think it's from the coffee. Oh, yeah, because right. well, he's all flushed out. Look at these. It's, hey, it's like Show Robin. Uh, pull, your pull your hair back. Pull your hair back. Pull your hair back. Looks like roast beef. Put your yeah, hair I'm back seeing it now. Ah. I'm seeing it now. Yeah, look at it. He's all rashed up. It's like somebody strangled him. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody he's strangled a mess. Me oh. Right before I came. And you in. think you're gonna get other girls? You should have married her. What are you talking about? You always say don't get married. No, all. in your case, you should get married. <laughs> uh, I don't know. That's ev that's advice for the general public, yeah, not you. Not you. <laughs> what? What's you, wrong? Before you met that girl, you're cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know what it is? You've been getting laid on a regular basis. You start to think you're cute. See, Go before back. you got remember what he was like when he first got that girl? Yeah. He was holding on to her for dear life, and he wanted to marry her the first weekend. Go back your, in your mind before her and what you were getting. You're forgetting. Think about some of the girls you got. And how you had to beg them and they were fat. What did you want to tell me, Gary? The rumor is that um, she's suing him. Oh, is that right? What? And they don't what? live together anymore. She's suing you, Kenneth? No. She's not? No, I was just with her last night no. uh, all week. Why is she suing? Why, was, why would they say that about you? I don't know. They said something about, about uh, bringing, her over, bringing her to New York from where she lives to get married and then, and then breaking up the... You know, A not, breach of contract? Some sort of thing oh. like that, yeah. You mean you're not allowed to change promise? your mind if you don't want to get married? No, no, I never heard anything like that before. I don't know who's saying well, how could you? How, yeah, I'm sure it's not true. Well, because there have been suits like that before. Yeah, that guy yeah, in Chicago. Uh, so anyway, there's no there's no suit against you. No, nah, it's the first I, I ever heard. Anything All right, like good. That. I was All right, with her, I've been with her for like the last, the whole time, just on and off, so. Right. I don't know. But and you still might get married. At one point. Now what? You, they were living together, and now she lives in New York, and you live with your parents again, right? Well, she um, she lived in New York with her friend, and then she um, she couldn't find a job there, so then she moved back to Chicago. 
Oh, so she's, she's a, back in Chicago. Yeah, she's living with her friends in Chicago. And oh. she just, like, well, she just moved back, like, about a couple weeks ago. Oh, all right. I think I'm learning more than I want to learn yeah, about your life. Know. Well, she's in well, Chicago, and she visited you this time. There's not okay. much to it, really. Yeah, all right. It's just kind of weird that you finally got a decent girl, like, you know, look decent and everything, and now you're not, you know, you blew that, too. All right, let me hear some of these I songs that you're doing now. What is this called? It's called I Got Beers. All right, let's hear it. <laughs> all right. I might cut you short. I was walking down the street I didn't know who to meet I didn't take a bath that day I didn't brush my teeth yesterday I saw a girl in the corner Long blonde hair Tight black pants Black high heels How are you doing girl? What are you doing here? I got my own place I hope you don't have kids. Come over here. I got beers. I got I don't think chicken. it's that bad. I want to get licking. This was the day for me. I knew what I was going to see. I told you I'd be home for dinner. She asked if she could call home. I said, come on, let's go on over. I want to roll your husband over. I don't care if he sees me. I'm even laying in the bushes. How are you doing, girl? What are you doing here? It's not that bad. I got my own place. Am I crazy? I don't think he's I that bad. I don't have kids. The right producer? Come <laughs> over here. I got beers. Even when we're talking, he just keeps playing like a mental chicken. patient. I want to get licking. She got off the subway. All right, all right. I get it. He's doing all a right. medley. He's doing a medley. I think he's into another song now. Everybody has different tastes, Howard, because you don't think that's bad, but I want to hit him. <laughs> you want to punch him in the face? Hey, I got another one. Want to hear it? Not really. <laughs> all right, well, let me hear your other song. What is it? Nothing but drunk. All right, go ahead. All right. I stumbled around and down the street. How come I can't hear the music? I don't know. Oh, there it is. Sorry. You I didn't have it turned up. Sorry. <laughs> I stumbled around and down the street. I got drunk all through the week. It's pretty hard when you work for it. I feel like I'm a little contorted. A nice little nap is what I need. My schedule says I gotta go weed. I'm fed up. I've about had it. Now I feel like I gotta go grab it. Maybe I'll pump iron down at the gym. Or maybe I'll rob a car with my Slim Jim. I used to play all kinds of sports. Then I heard about gentle warts. I have been nothing but drunk all week. I have been nothing but drunk, you freak. I have been nothing but drunk all week. I have been nothing but drunk. That's pretty good. Nothing but drunk. <laughs> That's not bad. It's like when Metallica. I yeah. out of school, I picked up some automotive tools. But I when is it up? When is it over? And he doesn't know how to I crash my car into the As mall. we speak, Caroline's is boarding up their day. doors. I knew I was a loser. All right. Where's said, the comedy? That's the best part yet. Yeah, you knew you were a loser. They said straighten up. Where's the comedy part? So I became a boozer. <laughs> when, when is in, where's the comedy? Comedy rock. Yeah, the lyrics are funny. It's comedy. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Jackie at the Channel 9 Roast. Oh, it's funny. It's funny. Well. I just wrote this one. I hope you like it. It's called I Wipe With Leaves. <laughs> <laughs> I Wipe With Leaves in the Park. So, uh, Kenneth, congratulations on your new <laughs> career as a musician. Now. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Kenneth Keith Callenback, everyone. We're going to take a break. We'll be How back long with you. How has he been playing guitar? Like a couple of weeks. <laughs> like two months. <laughs> Have you been playing for a while? Like two months. Is that really true? <laughs> two months? Well, I don't, yeah, I don't play guitar. I, I I'm no kidding. I just did it for, uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I thought you did great. Thanks there you go. All right, we're going to take a break. Impressed. Very impressed. Very I, at least you did this. It wasn't like the blowing the smoke out of the eyes where nothing happened. Yes, you did something. I can do that. Got to smoke. <laughs> Uh-oh. No. <laughs> Have you been practicing that? You've never really been able to do that. No, I can't do it. Really? I'm serious. Get a smoke. I'll do it right now. Play guitar better than you do. Yeah, no, I will pass.
You want to see him blow smoke out of his eyes? No, because he throws up and stuff. Are you going to puke? No, I don't. It's funny when he pukes. That's because I drank all that water. That's the only reason I puked. And I started gagging. I was like, you know. I'll watch you blow smoke out of your eyes. Hey, oh, Scott, wow. you got 900 cigarettes <laughs> back there. Can you part he with one? He doesn't have one to spare. Because I'm serious. I can really do it, man. I, I'm yeah. serious. All right. Scott, he wouldn't give me one of his own cigarettes. What is that? What I are those? weird-looking pack know, of what cigarettes. Is it? it says Buzz. Don't or... take mine. Buzz cigarettes. It's a new brand. They sent them <laughs> over to us. Oh. I guess you get a Buzz when you smoke. No, no, no. <laughs> well, are you ready? Dude, yeah. Dude. Yeah, get the, get the All right, ready. I'm gonna really try really hard this time. All right, if you puke, make sure yeah. the camera can see yeah. you. What do you want? Get that barrel ready. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, I'm just getting ready. You know, that does sound like air's coming yeah, out of his Yeah, air's eyes. coming out. Watch. Come oh, on, that's oh, oh, it's coming out of your nose. Huh? All right, ready? What is something coming out of his nose? No, it's it's that's that's a noise of stuff coming out of his nose, not his All right, eyes. Here it goes. Here it goes. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. I hate this. You make me sick. Right, he's gonna inhale the smoke and make it come out of his eyes. All right, get out. He get came out. out. You saw it, man. Oh. He came out, man. You saw it. Did you see it? <laughs> <laughs> huh? No, I didn't see it. But then stop. I don't want you to do it anymore. It's so sick. Wait. <laughs> no, don't do it anymore. No, I want to. Stop. I'm not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Why are you making that face? Because it burns, man. All right, man. I don't want you to do it anymore. Seriously, look, stop. Tearing. Stop. Yeah, stop. Right. All right, I'll stop. All right. <laughs> you look like an idiot. <laughs> smells like his brain's burning. Yeah. Oh, look at him. He can't. He's crying. He's crying. Burns he's real bad, tearing. <laughs> well, why would you do it, you wacko? <laughs> why do you do that if it hurts? <laughs> don't do it anymore. <laughs> You're not gonna, you wanted to see it. I wanted to see it. I don't want to see it. it. One more time. One more time. No, no. Don't <laughs> do yeah, it anymore. I want to see it, man. Don't do it anymore. He, lo he looks up? like he's blind from that. I know. Are you blind? Yeah, I can see good. <laughs> but who are you looking at? All right, I'm going to take... one more time. No, no, I don't want to see it anymore. Oh, one more time. All right. Maybe that's why his eyes are so weird, Howard. Yeah. You Did you just see that? No. But I you saw it come out, didn't you? No, your eyes are all bloodshot and red. We saw tears so coming. coming. I see it blood coming out of your eye. Oh, you it disgusting. It came out, man. You are disgusting. It come out. It's you know... Where's the ashtray there? <laughs> oh, look at his eyes. His eyes are all red They're and bleeding. I know. No. no. He pops so he pops blood vessels yeah. in his eyes. Ooh. Yes, he does. Well, one more time. No, right. don't. All right, all right. All right, all right. You... Ugh. Do that I'm going to puke from him. Get him out of here. You <laughs> wanted him to do <laughs> it. You dog. Do you know what you created? Do you know who's on the bill with him tonight? Who? I just found out. It's a female Elvis, a rapping grandmother, and a banjo-playing priest. <laughs> Good oh. Kenneth. Cool. Cool. All right, we're going to take a break. I'm going to throw Kenneth Keith out of here. We're going to take some phone calls next. I'm going to vomit from the look of his eyes. <laughs> yeah, it burns. See? Yeah, your eyes all red. Burn. That's because smoke came through it. Oh. Ah. All right, we're going to take a break, and we'll be back right after these words. Man, don't do that shit. See, what I think uh, happens, I, I think you're imagining you you're seeing, I think what it is, you're bursting your blood vessels, so you think you're seeing smoke, but you're not. Yeah, it's your brain burning. It's brain smoke. No, some guy gave me 20 bucks to do it the other day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh, in that case, it's worth it. In that case, it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should try with a cigar. All right, right man. All right, I'll see you in a bit. All right. All right, Kenneth. Good luck tonight. All right, thanks. All right. Okay. Comedy Bob. <laughs> Let me see your eyes. Is it red? Look, I blew smoke out of my eye right there, man. Does it hurt? It burns a little, but that's all right. Why do you keep doing it? Uh, cause it's funny. Do you really think smoke comes out of your eyes? Yeah, it does. It came out. It came out this time? Yeah. Have you ever actually seen like a big puff of smoke? Uh, sometimes it just comes out in the stream. Are you afraid that like one day you're gonna like blow out your eyes or something from that? Nah, I can still see as good as I could before. So when it um, if when I start not being able to see good, then I'll just quit doing it. <laughs> Cause right, it, it doesn't seem to affect my sight. All right, man. Cause Kenneth Keith is a man Kenneth Keith is a man and a plan Kenneth Keith is a man and a plan And a fan of the man with the plan 
Kenneth Keith meets the girls. Kenneth Keith meets the girls with the curls. Kenneth Keith meets the girls with the curls and the swirls and the twirls and the curls. I am, I am the man and I make the plans. I am the man and I make the plans. And meet the girls. And meet the girls. And meet the girls. And meet the girls. <laughs> That's all there is to that song. This one's called The Subway Girl, okay. She, yeah. she got off the subway. She looked at my briefcase. I looked at her legs. She looked at my eyes. I said, yo, what's up? She said, hi, how are you? I'm not doing so good. She said, why, what's wrong? I can't find a girl. I can't find any fun. I got a wife at home. I can't go on a date. She's the subway girl. She's the subway girl. She started getting excited. I saw her shirt get tight. I saw her eyes light up. She took off her sunglasses. She asked me for a smoke. I said, nah, I'm broke. She said, oh, come on. I said, yeah. She's a subway girl. She's a subway girl. Subway girl, where have you been? Subway girl, my name is Jim. Subway girl, I like your stuff. Subway girl, I call your bluff. She's the subway girl. She's the subway girl. She got off the train. She didn't know my name. I like the way she looked. She liked the way I cook. I don't care, she called me a jerk. I don't care, she don't work. She know I need loving. I squeeze her little muffin. How was it? <laughs> <laughs>